This is Hollywood. Matthias Bombal with you, and from Fox Searchlight, we have a new release from director Richard Shepard that is in the vein of Grindhouse and 70s crime capers, Dom Hemingway, with capable Jude Law in the title role. This is unlike any other Jude Law performance you've seen, and he's back on the streets of London after 12 years in prison for safe-cracking, eager to collect what he's owed. His direct, crazed, and over-the-top self-confidence creates more trouble than most want in a lifetime, and here with his pal Dickie Black, they arrive in style to collect his share of millions in the comfort of a Rolls-Royce Corniche. South of France. Afternoon. Tom, don't think of what you're thinking. That's Mr. Fontaine's property. Property is a relative term for a thief. Still, I'm just looking, admiring. She's rather fit. Not her, not Paulina. Fit to fiddle, I'd say. Dom. You don't admire that. Bugger off, Diggy. I'll admire what I want to admire. Think what I want to think. Fiddle who I want to fiddle. With that attitude, you may well imagine that there may be violins ready to play for him at any moment. Those two are most reminiscent of Jack Nicholson and Peter Fonda, especially Dickie, whose entire look is Peter Fonda-esque from the Easy Rider era. His was an excellent performance, too. That actor is Richard E. Grant, who has played a lawyer recently in last year's Delightful About Time, and has also appeared in Doctor Who, Downton Abbey, and films like Gosford Park and The Iron Lady. Jude Law usually appears in roles that offer him insensitive or devious roles of the manner born. Here, he's a British thief of the criminal classes, and in this scene, we find him late for dinner and not dressed in a rare moment of self-assessment. Dicky, I'm a mess. Look at me. I'm trying not to. I'm pathetic. I don't belong here. I'm a monster. I'm a dinosaur. Don't forget nudist, Dom. Don't forget oh, that. I'll be thrown away. Sent to let the colony. Forgotten about. Left to rot with a maggot. Jesus, Dom, you've got to get control of yourself. You've got to beg forgiveness of him. You've got to put on trousers. I've been locked up for so long, Dicky. I see the light. The air? I, it's been so long since I breathed clean air. I look at the clouds, I go nuts. You mix in the whiskey, you mix in the pussy, I go crazy. I'm a crazy man, I'm a fucking nutter. I mean, I'm afraid to see my own daughter. Really? But not too afraid to insult one of the most dangerous men in all of Europe. Unfortunately, you have the brass for that one. He certainly does, and in this interesting Quentin Tarantino style of movie, well, I think appeal to those that love pulp and grindhouse films, which I typically do not. However, the fascinating performance of Jude Law is outstanding. Just when you think he's without any redeeming value, he is inspired by a muse, Melody, played sweetly and simply by actress Carrie Condon, and starts to gain some hope for his life. Second to his greed for the money he went to jail for and waited 12 years to get out, he suffers the loss of his wife and the estrangement of his daughter. Will he be able to salvage that too? The director's use of primary colors, especially red, is visually striking, and the movie is well photographed as far as the composition and settings. Yet some scenes feature a shaky handheld camera, and others do not, showing a little unevenness in an otherwise polished production that you'd expect from the British cinema. The dialogue is clever and performed flawlessly by all involved. Thus, Dom Hemingway offers good performances in a story that will appeal to fans of movies that show the nefarious activities of the criminal classes. This is your pal, Matthias Bombal. Bidding you a fond farewell.